Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Jed. Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Doug in the house and we got Nate in the house. Nate is already down on his back going for the front end. We're going to pull the front end out of it, the springs out of the front end. And he's going to re-arch them to lower the car in the front. Uh, yesterday we got, we got this put on. Uh, this panel, went, I think, went very well. It actually went better than well. As Jolene shows in the inside of it, it's all cut and butt welded on. It's got nice shape to this side. Very happy with it. Uh, now the hardest part is to make this side do the exact same thing. That, that's the hard part. Um, we have the other side of the roof over there. There's a few pieces I'm going to cut off it before we even start. Like I cut, I cut this off when we put this one on. I think what I'm going to do on... I could lay it on there on top I suppose. What happens is the windows, got, you obviously see in the windows here, it's kind of laid down a little bit. We'll put the other one on, the window's going to lay on top. Or we could put it underneath as far as that goes, try to make everything go good. Um, let's go for it. I mean, Doug's going to try to put the other side on. No, we're not going to try, we are. And then yeah, the back right. will be sort of going where it needs to go. Uh, as you can see down here, uh, Nate is actually going to try to... Oh, he's going to take the front spring out of the car. I asked him what's his first first deal, and he said, take all the little nuts and bolts off and take all the cotter pins out and that sort of stuff, and then and get him everything loosened up, and that way there we can get it out. He's got the frame up on jack stands, and then he's got the front end uh, cross member up on jack stands. So that's so if you take the spring out, nothing's going to drop or fall. You'll be able to just pull it out. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I'll, I'll, these two jack stands will come back and I'll put the jack under here and I'll let a little pressure off okay. the spring. And then set them on the stand after you take the U bolts out. Yeah. All right, on. So there's there's the, there's some wrenching to go on there. You got the wheels of cloth in the back too, so it can't go on there. Some wrenching. You feel safe? Oh. Awesome. <laughs> we'll check in on you every so often. How's that? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Let's go back this way. Now I guess what's going to have to Aye. watch out for that. Yep, take place. We're going to slide this on. Yeah. I'm hoping that. Let me see how this. That fits. A1, 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 that's where we tacked it on last time. Uh, we, I just actually uh, buffed that straight. We'll take a little paint off. That's where we tacked it on last time. And then we're going to run it over to where we like it. We're going to draw a line. Then we're going to clean it. Why? We haven't had time pushing that over. Um, I think what's going on there is... Just paint there again. Same spot. All right. Let's hold that for a sec. Yep. Got it, buddy. I, I think I like what's going on, where it's at, to be honest with you. All right, good. I'm going to mark a line. If I take a look over this side, it's got this about the exact same thing going on. That's the distance I'm looking for right there, between that little rubber and the fender there. I'm looking for that distance there. If we're close to that, I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to mark it. You're going to mark it. And the reason I'm marking it, so I know where to clean the paint to put this on. Basically. And it seems like, in all honesty, it seems like we have the exact same thing going on. Ours is kinking here this time, but up on that side, it kinked maybe a little bit further up, but we'll see. Let's take this off. Hopefully the same procedure will happen on this side. Is it ha I broke a nail. Damn it, I broke a nail. I'm going out Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, when you get arrested, call me. I'll come pick you up. Yeah. We'll just stick that there. I'm gonna hold that. So I'll get a little bit of paint I wanna clean off there. I, I wanna bend this down some. Mm -hmm. Doug's gonna hold that piece. Probably could cut it off. It'd probably be easiest, but I don't want to cut it off until Not until we uh, do the deal. I thought I had another dolly right here, close by. Did I put it back? Did I, Douglas? 
I have no idea. Right there. I don't even know which one you have. Right there. I'm just gonna put that. I'm just gonna put this this die or this dolly on the line. So I'm just gonna put it on the back side and gas, and then I'm gonna beat the top over. Hopefully. If we recall, if we recall, all that gets cut off. So no big, no harm, no foul. <laughs> if my tongue comes out when I'm doing this, it just means I'm concentrating. <laughs> my mother does that. She hums at the same time. <laughs> I'm afraid if I start humming with my tongue open, I'll, I'll cut it off. Yum, 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 yum. Does your mother know you're down here talking about her duck? Yeah, she's probably going to beat me up <laughs> later today. All right. What? Tongue out? Yeah, we'll get her in the something. Well, there's yeah. no harm, no foul. You're not hurt nobody. Oh. Little tongue won't hurt nobody. Shh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My old glasses. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's gross. Huh. Making a mess for you again. Did I take these glasses off somewhere? The other ones, these ones got a, these ones are through the washing machine. I got a, a, a scuff spot right in the center of them. Anyways, we'll just continue on. Thinking that's good. Not sure if it is or not, but we will have at least the chance to tack it on there <coughs> with it clean. Without it clean, it can't be tacked on there. Just want to get that bent over without destroying anything. Turn this welder around. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. Uh, we're rock. We're cooking with gas. We're, you know, we're rocking pretty good here. That side went on really nice. Uh, the window chop looks nice. The window post chop looks nice. It's just a matter of just continuing on. Sometimes when you get going on a project like this, when you cut it all apart. You're not feeling the greatest about everything, but I'm starting to feel a lot better about most of it. We don't need a helm right this second. Douglas, let's try this piece on, brother. I feel great about chopping your cars up. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Way back. Yeah, sounds good. I'll chop my car. I don't care. You can't lower it though. I can barely get out of it now. All right. Let's. I will weed whack that one on. On there.
Come on now. Wire speed's on one. That doesn't work. Doesn't work on one. No, it doesn't. Jack her up. What I'm gonna do is just tack it on here. I know I tacked it on the other side, the same same place. The very first tack was right there. And uh, that's where we're going from down there, down here. Let's push it over. I'm going to, I'm go, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna get this fitting down here. And the reason being, I'm gonna, I do not, yo, everything okay, Nate? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. I am yeah, not I'm going gonna, to try to make this, I'm not gonna to try to find out what's going on here yet. I'm just gonna push this over here and try to get the same distance over he right here as I am there because the roof really not gonna change. The shape's not gonna change other than it's gonna get a buckle there somewhere because it did a buckle over there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna take a look um, between here. You can see how far away I am. If I can get that somewhere as close, then I may as well just tack it because I know that this is all gonna stay the same. Over there, that's all is gonna stay the same. Um, it's just going to be the matter of getting it, butt it, and cut it on there. But basically, I'm just going to go that distance away, probably a foot up from the tail light. And, uh, and that's what I'm thinking. That's the only way I know how to make it the same. A foot up from the tail light. Be right about there. I'm going to take a looky poo. I'm just going to. Sure, we get it zapped on there. No, it seems to be tapped on there. A little finger length there. A little finger length there. Foot up from the tail light. Looks good. Looks good. Alrighty. I guess now is the matter of making it fit. All right. I'm going to try to shove that on. I'm gonna to try to shove it on and get it tacked on every six inches or so. And that way there, we, when we go to cut and butt it, we're, we are connected. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. I think I, I like that, it's good. We'll connect it up front where we should be. I'm just gonna push this on. Gas is not on. That's what happens first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna We're not flopped over far enough. I need some more metal showing. Yellow cord, is that being used over there? Nope. I'm just gonna knock oh, some oh, more oh, green paint oh, off. Yeah, it's all good, buddy. Get it down a little bit farther. <clears throat> let's let's check this out. We have don't worry see about where that. Hole is. Oh, good. See where our metal is. Let's go check it out and see what happens. One, we got. I just want to see the distance oh, cord away from this metal here. <laughs> Grab you by the two, foot and pull. Three, four. Just to see where we're going. See if we're in the right spot. One, two, three, four, and we're probably we'll probably tape a tape away. Tape. What I mean by tape is three quarter inch. We're a little bit above that. We're a little bit lower than that, but we will end up pushing this out. Excuse Second. Me. I want this one plugged in if I can. Actually, that zip cut will work. That zip cut will work. Just want to take a little green paint off.
All right, Doug, I'm gonna get you in. How are we gonna get you inside this time? Uh, I have you push out as I push in, and it would probably help it. Sure, no problem. And maybe not. Maybe not sure. Can't get through there. Y'all right. get in there, Doug? Yeah, no, I'll get in there. Uh, makes me nervous where it's jacked up in the air and he's under it and I'm climbing in it. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, but I don't need his tool, Mason. Thanks, buddy. I'm just gonna have to straddle this thing a little uh, bit. Uh, it's going. It's going. Maybe that's too high there, I'm not sure. It needs a cut there, that's for sure. Watch your eyeballs, Doug. Basically, I'm trying to get it stuck on there, and then we'll cut him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> So did you see where I walked the last time, Doug? Pardon? Just, did you see where I walled it the last time? Yes, I did. It's quite tight right there. Okay, well, it was quite tight. Well, together. about six inches and push out. See it weld it? Yeah, I did. Right. I'm right there. Let's go up to six inches and push out. Yeah. Hey, man, that's really something there, isn't it? Wow. That's quite. <sighs> I'm gonna try to push it in. It's free. All right. I'm fogging up. I'm fogging up. It almost seems like it should be cut off there. We're going good, we're going good, we're going good. I'm gonna cut that off, Doug. Watch your eyes, Jesus! Wow. Whew. I'm not sure what's going on there. The hardest part sometimes is making the other side look like the other side. Oh. Come on. The trigger's messed up on the welder. I'm gonna to try to push push up about six inches from where I was. Can you roll that out somehow? Can it be pushed? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want, Doug. Doug, that's what yep. I want done. Buddy. I know what you want. I know what you want, where you want it, and everything. <laughs> Got her to stick. I'm gonna take and get a just a sec, I'm gonna get a grinder. Okay. Knock some paint off. Keep fogging up here. Sure that coming down further, but pushing out. Yep. All right. Yeah. Are we tight down? We are tight down. That's good. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It looks really good from in here. Really tight all the way along. I'm just going to tack it right here. 
Well, a little bit of a bubble. All right. Now, this side did not kink whatsoever. Sometimes it works out that way. Sometimes it works out that way. Where are you now? Wished it didn't, but sometimes it does. I don't know if I should be bending that or not. Probably shouldn't be bending that. And the reason being is, because when I put it, bring it together, it won't need to be bent. I'm just gonna take a hammer. All right. I'm gonna look it over. Man, that's tight. There. That's tight, no, that's tight, y'all. Looking it over for a second. This matches up nice, right? Matches up nice. You know, if it had to. Is there more of a distance there? We're missing just a little V up in the center. Uh, I figured that once we get this tied together, how easy that's going. One piece down around, wrap around to the bottom, connect onto this piece. Can't see a problem with it. Just gonna take a look at it for a second. Just gonna take a look at it for a second. We're straight up here. It's rolled over right there. Just want to take a look at the other side. Like they always say, you can't see both sides at once. Once I cut that, I'm pretty darn close to the three quarter inch mark on that. Yeah, I'm thinking that we got it. I'm going to start running the zip cut through it, okay, Doug? Sure thing, man. So, dude, just pay attention to where I'm running it through. I'm going to start up top. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. This one's, it actually is going not bad. What's a, it's going good, actually. How about you, Nate? Going good for you, brother? Yeah, it's going pretty good. It's coming, coming apart. Coming apart, like she always does. Huh? I had a pair of glasses. I want them other glasses. Where'd I put them damn things? Did I just hear them? Were the inside there, Doug? Or are you just ripping off? Hello? Them? What? <laughs> That's something. You lose your glasses again. You lose your glasses again. <laughs> oh, they might be. These ones got a spot in them where I can't see. If you know what I'm trying to say. Maybe I don't need to see. Let's cut it. Boy, feed. All right. Big, a big hole there. Can you push out on that, Doug? Yep, I can, I can. That's a sort there. of a mess go. Not a mess, but that's a big joint. <laughs> that is a big one, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that one's so big, bud. Trying to give her a nice slice. That welder's making me ugly. All right, that's actually not a good start. Can you push that over a little bit, Doug? Yeah, I'm gonna go right in the middle of it, bud. All right. Ugh, don't like that. I ain't got a helmet on. And, uh, I'd like to weld your thing right there, but. I was hoping you're gonna get in between us. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> All right, you can let go. Oh, man. Don't like that one, but that, yeah.
Not a real good start, eh, Doc? Not really. Let me get that just a little bit more. It, it keeps bubbling back and forth on you. Coat hanger? Yeah. Push it out. And a helmet. Quite a big gap going on there. So back to the trusty coat hanger to save my mirrors. Let me push out on the bed channels. Then I go up here. All right. Now I'm just going to take the hammer. It's in there just a little tiny bit. Now I can. Now it's connected. I can. It's good. Good. It's good. some more. This time I won't slice it three or four times. Come away, did it? All right. I'm gonna hide this grinder because if it's not, I'll step on it. You're pushing out, Doug. Yes, I am. Okay. On the bottom piece, right? Yep. Come up here where I glass welded it. Okay. Yeah. Push that out. Yeah. Right, like. See where my finger is? You see my. Right there, Doug. We'll see that. See my thing. Yeah, that's where I am. I'm right there. Yeah. Okay, but I'm not happy yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Ah. Okay. There we go. Now we're now we're in order. Now we're starting to get there. Don't push it too far. Let it back a little bit. Gotta take these glasses off, or these gloves off. One off, anyways. Can't tell if you. There you go. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit further now. Yep. You turn the mic off. Okay. Just, just trying to make sure that looks good. Looks good. Just, just keep cutting, I guess. Hoping that I didn't mess that up. Ooh. Push out, Doug? Yep. See my last spot of weld? Yep. <sighs> All good? Can you push out a little harder? Okay. Just a sec here. I'm off. I fall great up. I can't Got see it? shit. Yep. <sighs> good. Let's do it again. Ooh, just out, back in just a little bit. Let's go again. Are we a little bit, we're a little bit overlapped there, are we? This is pretty damn close. Uh, I think it is, man. We're starting to get a buckle watch, right watch there. Watch yourself, too. watch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. See you. Yeah, got it. Come on. Check it. Okay, so we're... Go back. Okay. Yep. 
Good. Just gonna touch it with a hammer for a second. Ah. Feels good. I think it does. That's tight. That's tight, y'all. This one again. It's all going good. Going good. It feels good, anyways. All right. Run a zip, cut it, Doug. I got you, buddy. I guess the, the most important thing on doing something like this is getting it connected every six inches so it will hold there for you and then I'm, I'm just going in between each spot weld and cutting it free and then putting it back together. If I try to do it all at once I'll be in a mess just kind of a little bit at a time. Looks like it was flush. Just gonna hit that with a hammer. Have to recall on the other side, or you don't have to recall on the other side, it had to shrink it a little bit. Watch yourself, guys. Yeah, that's a Yeah, you too. How you doing, man? Good. Hope to see you soon. Good. Yeah, I've got a little bit going on here. I don't know. I'm not liking a bunch. I wonder if I can hit that there. Sure I can. Watch out that Look, you're, you're right here. You're an inch for an Right there. Yeah, it's pretty near touching right there. It's really, really close, right? Have a seat. Two spots and then the center. I don't like it right there. Probably being a fuss pot, but. Hammer and dolly and play with that after. Watch your eyes. And you're gonna cut it some more, Doug? Yep. Tack it right here. Good. Is my mic going off and on? Oh, just... Change the sides. Pretty tight. I don't know.
trying to make it the best we can. Good. Oh, it's good. It's coming together good. Gonna get the saw going again, Doug. You got good help, that's why. You figure that's it, Doug? Yeah, it's a good part of it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to attack this right here. I like when it goes like this. Fitting along nicely. That's where your buckle is, there, isn't it? A little spot right here. Feels good. Excellent. I got a little bit right here I've got going on, but that's going to be a hammer and a dolly, that's for sure. That's going to weld together nice. Awesome. It's going good. It's going good. Going to take the saw and cut down to the next one. Grinder, that is. <laughs> is scratch scratch your scratch your care there. Let's cut it again. I need some metal to be shown here before I cut it. Doug, did I cut it all the way or get to cut it a little more? Yeah, huh? it's a little bit more at the end. Mark the bell. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, got it. Huh? Got her. Shame we had too much metal on the other side and this one's going 
going like this, but we do have a couple small pots that we're going to have to a dolly. It's overlapped a little bit there. Hmm. Come on, Ryan, I threw it again. Oh. Twelve leaf springs in the front of the spinach. That it? Twelve. Twelve leaf springs, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? All right, Douglas. Tar. That's good. Didn't want to stay for me. It's working our way down. I was fitting there good now. Like it's what? Yeah, we can. All right, Doug. Doug, I'm just gonna go up front for a second. What's up, buddy? Just going up front for a second. You're. I guess you're on break. Yeah. Who that, me? Oh. Every, everything come off good? Three? Three. So what what do you plan on you said you were gonna make a make a template? Yeah, we'll use the the leaf itself. Use that one, and then we'll make a template. Just mark it on the, mark it mark on it. the floor. Then we get a bend it. So this is the opposite direction. So then we'll <laughs> bend it to a marked template. So it goes like this. Yeah. Okay. So we take it over here like that and bend it to fit this way. Where you said you hang these down, right? And then we're so taking two. We'll take two two leaf suit. Definitely this one. We might take three. And then we'll cut. Instead of building a spacer, we'll cut the leaves. Yeah. And bolt it back in with the center bolt, and then the cut leaf will be the spacer, so we build them on. Right on. Yeah. So are you are you going to try to bend that now? Uh, is, get, is that your next adventure? Get things ready here, and then I'll clean up a little bit of stuff first. Okay. And then yep, we'll be back, or I'll be back. Stop right here, man. Cool. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I probably can and do the rest of this, Doug, from where I'm at. Went pretty well. Pretty yeah, good, I, don't think, I don't think you have to be in there for that. There is going to be a little tiny bit of dolly in that I'm going to want to do, and that's just a matter of... We didn't cut it. it what? It was, wasn't cut on this side. It, it was cut on this side. I cut it down before. I cut the metal off before. Yeah. If you want to gear up um, Nathan with that, 
press. Yeah. That would be perfect. If you want to grab that press in there. You want that press out here, do you not, Nate? We've got to put it up on something. It's going to be up on something that's very sturdy. We might have to clamp it to something that's up a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's too low to hold it through. Check it out. See what happens. Yeah. Just going to cut this right now. Continue this on. Get this piece cut. Together, perfect. It's just yeah. I don't know what we're going to say about this. Mm. I like that. It's good. It's really nice. Let's keep cutting. How far are we down there? Together quite nicely right here. For some reason. Yeah, just, uh, just fitting right on. Pretty close, buddy. Just pushing on with my leg, and uh, it's going right where I want it. Down to here. Down a little further. Especially with those. Way, yeah. Especially with those. Always the way. Yeah. There's only about six threads all. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. And those are older than dirt. Right. Older than dirt. Older than dirt. Pretty old, isn't it? Tack it down there for now. Ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. I can push that in place with my my knee. He replaced me with his knee. <laughs> Good. He needs it. No, he's been replaced me with his knee. He just he replaced me with his knee. I was like, that's no fair. Did you, what about the table that I bend the uh, pipes on? Do you want that in there? Maybe to? I mean, the thing's on wheels, but. We'll see how close this is in a minute. Right. Like the says. It, might, it might be okay right there. Trigger it. Drop some, drop some uh, wire off. And then, and then hit it. I have a little issue right here I don't like. Knock that off. Yeah. 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 So you're, 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 both your bushings are good, so you don't have to change them now? Right. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Use all the bushings. Yeah, a little bit, so it's straight on the money. Yeah, yeah, really. I put new ones in my car, man, because the bolts broke off and the light grew Should be no heat up here, so I'm going to go for it. He had to burn them out. So, yeah, you know, if you've got a really nice fancy drill bit, you can buzz in around them or something. Works, but I had to burn them out with torch. Okay. You, know, you know what that's like. That's fine. Great burning 
dirty. Stinky. Stinky. Let's get that one cross threaded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So it's so easy to do. Yeah, really. Don't want to cool, you can put a wrench on in there too. Eh? Yeah, there's a square notch. Yeah. yeah. Suppose they're so good. Now we're gonna wipe it down a little bit. Yeah, we. Good. Should yeah. So we're butt welded all the way down along. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's. I feel like it's pretty good. Mm. But what I am going to say is, there's a mm -hmm. few places that I want to. Yeah, that's ideal. Dolly. Yeah. Did not have to cut the roof on this side whatsoever. Uh, yeah. And sometimes it's just a matter of how you place it on there. I had to cut this side. It's not, you know, no harm, no foul. We're getting it back together. It's just I did not have to cut this side, and you often wonder well, what happened. <laughs> Just what I do, I ask and wonder what happened. Just Why? This once. Why? Yeah. Why? Right there, where I've got that cut. Sort of want to dolly that a little bit. Out's better than in. Out's better than in. In cases like this, I guess. I don't like that. It's looking pretty good. If we come to... Let's come... Looks nice like here. If you look up there, it's looking good. Get that welder back for you. If you look up this, this side here, it looks really good. A little bit of denting going on. See that little spot right there? See where it's tucked in like that? Where it's been in there? That's got to be hammered out so that's flush. There's a spot right there. I got to go get it. Can't get in there to get it. I'm going to have to get inside and get it. Yeah. This isn't a pin, obviously. And this one has some key in the side of it. So, you think we need the pin and a bolt holder together? I'll do. I'll weld. It's all good together here. It's all butt welded together nice up there. I'll butt weld it all and then where it, where it's dented or where it's in there a little bit, I won't, I will not weld it, weld it and then I'll know where I'm going to have to hit it. So basically I'll weld it what's good and then I'll go inside and I will know where it's not welded and that's where it's going to have to come out some. Better than that, that's on there. Well, that is on there. We have the center that we're going to deal with. This one's laying on top of this one. That would be the, just, just a matter of taking a, we know where center is. Uh, we can figure out where center is here. Take our, poof, run our zip cut down through, weld that together. We'd have a little pie missing there. This piece here, this back window is going to have to be cut out, obviously, or I'd like to have it cut out. I just make one new panel that comes down, we don't even know it comes around, and hits on the piece that we put in there. But that's what it looks like so far. Where are we at for time? 55. Did we cut this off? I can't remember. Did we cut that off during the other thing? So you've seen that? So basically what I did here on this one, I'm going to have to do on that one. Cut that back and get that tack way along there. No. What can I say? Some of this went r really well on this side. You guys love drawing on the floor, don't Other you? than that, <laughs> this side went fairly well, other than a couple places yeah. over here that I'm going to have to uh, not weld and deal with after. But we have got the roof butt welded on the top back of the car, and uh, it's, going, it's going pretty good. So now basically I'm going to cut off the access up here, just like that side, and um, yeah, thank you very much for coming back. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, we are going to do some spring work here.
And uh, hopefully we'll get to show you that. Do you want to see the marker right there? We'll start the next video. We'll start here in a minute. Alrighty, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it, everybody. Keep coming back. Like, share, comment. Um, see you tomorrow.